What should we call the sea between the Korean Peninsula, Japan and Russia? Should we call it the East Sea or the Sea of Japan? The name East Sea has been in use in Korea for the past 2,000 years. However, this fact was ignored when the 1929 meeting of the International Hydrographic Organization adopted the name Sea of Japan in the first edition of Limits of Oceans and Seas. At that time, Korea was under Japanese colonial rule and had no representation at the IHO. Furthermore, the UN has recommended simultaneous use of different names when countries sharing a geographical feature do not agree on a common name. Japan, however, continues to disregard this recommendation, insisting on Sea of Japan as the only legitimate designation for the area. Then, why should the name East Sea be used in the international community? In our review of this matter, let us turn to historical texts for guidance. The two seminal works that document the period of the Three Kingdoms use the name East Sea when describing historical events that occurred around 50 BC. The East Sea is inscribed on the stone of King Gwangido, erected in the early 5th century, and an outstanding reliable record of the time. The name East Sea is also clearly indicated on the Paldo Chongdo, the map of the eight provinces of Korea, published in 1530, as well as on a number of Chinese maps of that period. This compelling evidence shows that the name of East Sea has been commonly used not only in Korea, but also in all other Northeast Asian countries since 2,000 years ago. Uh, there's a lot of uh, Chinese historical documents and after we examine these documents, we found that during the past 1,500 years, the East Sea was the main name of this sea area. The Korean national anthem begins with the word Tonghe, meaning East Sea. Korean people have a particular bond with the name East Sea, just as they do to Korea and Seoul. We have insisted in the international community on the need to give due consideration to the name East Sea, as it has been used for more than 2,000 years by 70 million Koreans. Supporting this view, many scholars have acknowledged the need to simultaneously use both names and that to use both until there is a final resolution seems to me to be a quite reasonable policy. It seems to us that it is necessary to use uh, both names in the same uh, time. Uh, the name is Sea and the name Sea of Japan, respecting uh, the opinion of both countries. As for the people of Japan, what did its people call this sea in the past? Interestingly, historical documents reveal the fact that even the Japanese referred to this area as the Sea of Chosin before the 20th century. As you may know, Chosin is an ancient Korean kingdom. As the term Sea of Japan first appeared in the 1602 document Mapo Mondo, written by Matteo Ricci, the name East Sea predates it by more than 1,600 years. It should also be noted that the Sea of Japan was a name imposed by Westerners. Then how have the Japanese people actually been referring to the sea? In a map of Asia published in Japan in 1794, as an appendix to the ancient document, a report of Russia, the name Sea of Joseon is indicated, not the Sea of Japan. The same is true of a simplified map of Japan's periphery, published in 1809, as well as a newly edited world map published in 1810 by astronomer Takahashi Kageyasu. These maps were all official maps of Japan. In all, 18 maps dating back to the 18th and 19th centuries carry the name Sea of Joseon. It is evident that the sea was called by various names, including Sea of Joseon, until the 19th century. What about the rest of the world? How did the world refer to the sea in question before the decision by the IHO 
in 1929. From the 17th to the 19th century, Westerners used various names for this sea, including the Sea of Korea, the Sea of Joseon, the Eastern Sea, the Oriental Sea, the Sea of China, and the Sea of Japan. Among all these various names used during this period, those containing references to Korea are most frequently found on maps. The Portuguese cartographer Manuel Godinot's 1615 A Map of Asia and Lazar's work of the same title published in London in 1840 both used names with a reference to Korea for this sea area. These maps and documents clearly show that when naming this sea, designations containing a reference to Korea were more widely accepted than other names. Thus, the names East Sea or Sea of Korea were internationally used, not designations used only by Koreans. What then, in spite of all the historical evidence, is the logic of the Japanese government for insisting on the use of the name Sea of Japan? One of their main arguments is that because the Japanese archipelago divides the Pacific Ocean into the East Sea and the rest of the Pacific, the sea should be named Sea of Japan. Japan insists that this rationale is what gives the Gulf of California and the Andaman Sea their respective names. But is there really any basis for this reasoning in the international community? We would turn your attention to the fact that the Tasman Sea, which is separated from the South Pacific, carries the name of the island to the west not New Zealand to its east. The Sea of Okhost, which is separated from the North Pacific, does not carry a name derived from the Kamchatka Peninsula lying to its east. As in these cases, when naming seas, it is the widely accepted practice to name it after the land to its west. This is how the Gulf of California and the Andaman Sea were named. Therefore, there is not enough basis for Japan's main argument. Moreover, the name Sea of Japan is an anomaly because it is the only case on the world map of a sea area being named after a particular country when its coastline is shared by more than three countries. In these similar cases, waters should carry names independent of any bearing to a particular country. The North Sea in Europe, surrounded by a host of neighboring countries in the region, was once referred to by different names by the British, the Germans, and the Danish. After the IHO recognized the term North Sea as the only legitimate term, the differences were resolved, and the name North Sea is used by all countries. Certainly the majority, as my understanding, uh, is that the majority of bodies of water have a name that is independent of uh, a country that happens to lie next to them. When there are circumstances that people can feel that that in some way carries with it a suggestion of some sort of control or evokes a historical control, it can lead to uh, sensitivities, of course. The name East Sea is the most appropriate geographically and the most reasonable on historic grounds. And it is, moreover, generally acceptable. Korea will continue to seek international understanding and agreement to restore the rightful name. The name East Sea, used for 2,000 years, disappeared from world maps. How then did the name disappear? How was it that the colonial Japanese replaced it in the early 20th century with the name Sea of Japan? The criteria for naming the oceans and seas were standardized by the IHO following its establishment in 1919. In its first conference government, representatives from around the world decided on the appropriate names of adjacent seas. However, under Japanese colonial rule, Korea could not send a delegation. East Sea, a name Korea had been using for 2,000 years, was abruptly replaced with Sea of Japan by Japanese representatives. When the first edition of The Limits of Oceans and Seas was published in 1929, the name East Sea was nowhere to be found. 
during Japanese colonial period, there is no way represent our view when East Sea was changed Sea of Japan in IHR conference. The name must be reconsidered because this is what became the standard for all map makers thereafter. Until East Sea appears again on reputable world maps, Korea will work with governments, organizations, and scholars around the world to restore the legitimate name of East Sea. What should we call the sea between the Korean Peninsula, Japan, and Russia? Should we call it the East Sea or the Sea of Japan? As a direct result of Japan's colonization of the Korean Peninsula, the term Sea of Japan was adopted at the 1929 meeting of the International Hydrographic Organization. Experts say that at least both names should be used, as Koreans have been using East Sea for the past 2,000 years. This view of experts is gaining wide understanding and recognition. Moreover, the UN has recommended the simultaneous use of both names until such time as the countries concerned reach an agreement. The name East Sea, supported by people around the world, is appearing again on world maps. However, Japan continues to ignore this recommendation, insisting that the Sea of Japan is the only legitimate designation for the area. And Japan continues to argue that Korea has waited too long to bring the dispute to the attention of the international community. Is this really true? The first time that Korea officially brought the issue to the attention of the world was in 1992 at the UN Conference on the Standardization of Geographical Names, UNCSGN, soon after Korea joined the UN in 1991. Korea for a long time was uh, dependent on Korea, so, uh, sorry, on, on Japan, so it was not um, independent, it was occupied by Japan, and therefore, uh, during the seminars about the naming of the seas, Korea had no chance to have any, any influence on, um, on the naming of the seas. And in 1953, Korea was at war. They had no chance to talk about the naming of the seas. As post-war Korea had to concentrate on economic development, the Korean government had not been able to raise this issue in the international community. But after the war, for over 30 years now, civic and academic circles have continued to raise the issue of East Sea, seeking to persuade the international community. Following its admission to the UN in 1991, the Korean government officially raised the issue of East Sea in the international arena in 1992. The Korean government's argument that both names, East Sea and Sea of Japan, should be used, pending an agreement on a common name between Korea and Japan, is gaining international recognition and support. For example, many maps in various countries are beginning to print both East Sea and Sea of Japan, and both the IHO and the UNCSGN recommend concerned parties to work towards reaching an agreement. Still, the Japanese government continues to ignore this recommendation, citing possible confusion in aviation and navigation. 
Is this argument tenable? Let's take a look at similar cases around the world. In such disputes, the IHO advises the countries concerned to adopt the simultaneous use of the names in question. A good example is the English Channel, lying between England and France. Although both terms, the English Channel and La Manche, are used, there has been no confusion in the skies or on the seas. On the contrary, the acceptance of the dual terms has facilitated navigation and aviation in the region and promoted smoother trade. As I mentioned, international organizations such as the UN and the IHO recommend that parties concerned consult with each other and reach an agreement when they have conflicting positions on deciding the name of a sea. Accordingly, Korea continues in its earnest efforts to engage in dialogue with the Japanese government. Yet, the Japanese have not responded to such efforts. Why is Japan reluctant to engage in such talks with Korea? Well, we may find the answer by turning to the rational and correct rules for deciding upon place names in the international community. When naming seas, the IHO and the UN recommend that the name used by residents of the area in question should be the primary consideration. Hence, East Sea, a name that has been widely used in the region for 2,000 years, should take precedence over Sea of Japan, a term which has been around for only a few decades. And many scholars have agreed with this view and begun pointing out the need to use East Sea or at least use both names. The world's most reputable map publishers, media houses, and geographical name committees have recognized the validity of the name the East Sea. As a result, East Sea is increasingly being used simultaneously with Sea of Japan, and in many cases, recognized as the only legitimate name. There is a growing awareness of this issue around the world. East Sea of the Eurasian continent. Tonghe means the sea where the sun rises. This is the name that has been used for 2,000 years and today is still called by 70 million Koreans. Korea will continue in its efforts for the name East Sea used by 70 million Koreans and the correct and rational term recognized by experts around the world to be established on the maps of the world.